All right, so this video is for people that might have issues either taking apart their Glock or their PSA dagger. So this is a Glock 17 and this is the PSA dagger full size. So let me show you what to do with my little handy dandy pointer. First, take the magazine out, take your hand, cover the ejection port, send that slide back, get that round out. As I'm sending the slide back, I'm holding up on the takedown lever. Same thing with the dagger, pull the mag out, cup the ejection port, get that round out. All right, let's do the Glock first. Make sure there's nothing in the chamber. Obviously no mag, send the slide forward. What I do is I hold it with my right hand and you can reach up and have your thumb on the back strap and reach up on the slide, okay? Pull these, both sides, pull the takedown pins down. And then what I do is while I'm holding them, I pull the trigger and it allows the slide to come off, okay? Same thing for the fake Glock. Pull back. These tabs are a little bit smaller. Get the slide off. All right, now here are some things that might make it difficult for you to get the gun back together. So right now, if you look, the trigger is back. The whatever the name of this piece that releases the striker is down. That's why you have to pull the trigger. I have a whole other video on that. Uh, I'll link it in the description. So r right now, if you were to randomly force the trigger forward, watch this right here. See, it goes up and then it moves the whole transfer bar. And then this little thing right here sticking up. is the safety mechanism that hits right there. So right now, if the trigger is forward and the trigger bar is forward and the striker releases up, when you go to put this on, what you do, whether you're putting it on with the, you know, the trigger forward and everything in the wrong configuration, what you have to do is line up where these slide cuts are at because that slides on the rails that are right there and there so four of them so what you do is you take your slide and you line that up what i'm doing to help line it up is my fingers are sticking over the slide and kind of cupping the frame so as I go and line those up real good, they go in there. But what you're going to see is as you're putting this forward and trying to get it on, it's like hitting on all kinds of weird things because the trigger's not pulled. I could force it and it would probably go. Uh, let's do it with the dagger. This is my wife's Glock, so we'll force it with the dagger. That way if I break anything, that one might actually not really stay forward so I'll cheat and we'll stick my finger back there line up the rail line up the little dingus yeah it won't go mainly because my finger is holding the trigger bar from moving so let's take the trigger release the trigger and let's see well that worked that's the first time I've ever tried to put one together without having the uh, trigger rear. So let's try it on the Glock. This isn't something I typically do, put the trigger forward and then do it. Sorry, honey, if you're watching this. Yeah, it looks like it actually is as the end plate 
is going towards it, it kind of pushed it down a little bit. Not as down as far as it'll go, because look, you can get to go really far down. But it does kind of push it down. Might be enough to actually get it to go, yeah. So if you are having a hard time getting this back together and the trigger is pulled, you might have to just line it up even more. And then you still got to make your way through all these other little parts and pieces right there. And then you need to clear the safety. And then you gotta clear the ejector. So line it up with the end plate, make sure that you're not hitting the end plate. Then you gotta clear this whole block. Then the very final thing you gotta make sure you line it up with is the frame rails on the back. So, let me try to think of ways that would not allow you to get the slide back on. So, let's do, so you don't have a recoil spring. You forget your recoil spring. Let's see what happens. Barrel's just gonna hang down and get caught up. So, make sure that you have your recoil spring in. Get the dog hair off of it. Hold on. I can show you how I do this. I just had to get it closer so I could actually see it myself. The phone's on the random table. All right, so what you do is you have, this is just a factory recoil spring. You have two ends. One's bigger plastic diameter than the other one. The little end kind of sticks into there. You'll see if you try to do it this way. That won't really stick in there. And then this also, this other piece of the recoil spring, I can't speak, lines up and goes right into that little receptacle. See right here where it's like a half moon? I don't know if the camera's focusing, but that kind of sits in there. So what you do is you take your barrel, throw it into the slide at an angle, bring it all the way back, smaller end of the spring, guide rod goes in there and then what you do is I just take it right there and use my thumb to push it forward to get it into that little area so then I line it up by having my fingers hanging over the side and just get the whole slide on there I don't know of any other thing that would keep it from you not being able to get the upper on uh, when you pull the takedown lever, it unlocks the thing. That, let me grab the right one. It unlocks, unlocks the little piece that allows the locking block to go into the barrel. This is the locking block. So basically what's happening is it's right about there and you push it rearward. So if you watch this, watch this when I put it on, watch the, uh, watch this little pin. It's hard to do. You see it moved just a little bit. I'll show you again. See, as soon as you get it, watch this. Watch this pin. See how much space there is right here? And it's all the way up. Watch, watch this. Let me try to brace it to hold it really steady. So as you get the slide right there, see it kind of pushes it down. And then you'll watch it. It'll spring back all the way up. So maybe if something is blocking it inside here, not allowing it to spring back up, it might keep you from getting the slide back on. But it should be pretty easy to get the slide off. Once you get used to it, you should be able to just like do this really easily. So it might just take some time, practice. The PSA dagger is a little bit different. The tolerances back here from what I found are kind of weird. So 
same principle make sure it triggers back but obviously we just saw that you can do it with the trigger forward but i just always do it with the trigger back hold the sides of the rail and line those up with the frame get a little make sure you get all the dinguses in there get the safety in there and bam The problem with the dagger that I found is these takedown knobs are very, very, very narrow. They don't stick out of the frame hardly at all. Makes it a little bit hard to get. Let me show you with the, uh, I'm gonna grab another one. Hold on. Glock 43, take the magazine out, cup the ejection port, get that round out, same concept, pull the slide back a little bit while pulling the takedown levers down, pull the trigger, bam, same deal, ride the uh, slide to clear everything, Oop. That's a We The People holster, like a 90s pattern. All right, take it, pull it back, pull the tabs back, pull the trigger, off she comes. Make sure the spring is back in, barrel's back in. It should kind of stay. You should be able to like, not really sling it around, but it should kind of stay in there. And then line everything up. There you go. Same with the dagger. Even though it's like really annoying. Then again, it doesn't help that I took this one and threw it like repeatedly. It's been abused. Line everything up. Wipe your grease off. There we go. If you're still having trouble with it, leave a comment and I'll uh, try to figure out what I can do to help. Should be pretty easy.